Australia's tropical rainforest is a living museum. A survivor of the world as it was when Australia was part of the supercontinent Gondwana 50 to 100 million years ago. Before Skyrail opened, the only way for visitors to experience the rainforest was by vehicular access. To reduce this impact of noisy roads, car parks and tramping feet on the fragile rainforest, a sustainable alternative was needed. A fifth generation Cairns family had the solution. Their vision was Skyrail, the world's most beautiful rainforest experience. When Skyrail first approached the world's cableway manufacturers with the concept, they were told it could only be done by a swathe clearing along the line. To clear that many trees would be completely incompatible with World Heritage listing. Skyrail invested seven years in meticulous research and planning. They developed new and innovative methods of construction and a completely new philosophy for cableway development and environmental protection, which involved no swathe clearing along the line, no new access roads, and minimum interference with the fragile ecology. During the 12 months that Skyrail was under construction, their dedicated team adhered to some of the strictest environmental protection codes ever imposed on a development. Construction sites for each of the 32 towers were limited by a maximum of 10 by 10 metres. Tower sites were chosen where gaps already existed in the rainforest canopy, thereby reducing the clearing of canopy trees. As excavation for the towers started, topsoil and leaf litter was removed and stockpiled to be used later for rehabilitation. Seedlings were carefully dug up, catalogued and carried out by hand to continue growing in a nursery. After the project's completion, they were replanted at their original locations to create rapid regeneration of the native vegetation. With no road access, workers were obliged to walk up to an hour each way into the forest, carrying their construction tools and materials. Before entering the forest, they sterilised all footwear and equipment to prevent introducing noxious weeds or disease. Helicopters were used to fly in tools and small machinery. Most of the foundations were dug by hand. Because all excavation spoil had to be retained within the 10 by 10 metres, often only one tower footing could be worked on at a time. When unable to see through the canopy, the pilots used satellite navigation and radio guidance from a ground-based supervisor. The towers were prefabricated in sections, some weighing up to five tonnes each. These were lowered one at a time by a Russian Kamov helicopter brought to Australia specifically for the job.
The tower sections were held in position and bolted together by a skillful crew. Fifteen kilometres of steel cable was strung by helicopter using pilot lines, winches and back tensioning. The weight of the cable equaling 100 family sized sedans. A multi-core communications cable runs in the middle of the towers, carrying all the voice and safety circuit communications. Two 383 kilowatt DC electric motors drive the cable, one at each end. A backup diesel motor and a further backup hydrostatic drive are also positioned at each drive station. All four stations were built in existing clearings. The two in the forest were mainly prefabricated for installation by helicopter and designed to use minimum energy for lighting and ventilation. The water is supplied by rainwater with UV sterilisation. All waste from composting toilets is removed from the forest and power is generated from the moving cableway using 12 volt batteries and sine wave inverters. The communication system is solar powered. Because the rainforest, not the cableway, is the attraction, Skyrail made the cabins and the towers green so they would disappear into their environments. The success Skyrail achieved in construction of its cableway set a new benchmark for low impact construction in an environmentally sensitive area. Since the rainforest cableway opened, Skyrail has taken millions of people into the wet tropics rainforest. It has raised their appreciation and understanding of the sensitive and precious environment and more importantly, it continues to preserve this living museum for generations to come. Skyrail has received national tourism awards and international environmental awards and represents a breakthrough in ecotourism and sustainable tourism standards to which other tourism operators have since set as their own benchmark. Skyrail really is the world's most beautiful rainforest experience.